In this lesson, you will prove that every set of points on a line has the same slope using similar right triangles. Now, slope is the vertical difference over the horizontal difference, or rise over run. Take a look at this graph below. There's one line and two right triangles on the line. The height of each triangle over its base is the same as the vertical difference over the horizontal difference. So slope, which is rise over run, can also be seen as the height over the base. You can use right triangles to find the slope of the line. So use this first triangle to find the slope of the line. So we know that this height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 units, and the base is 6 units. So the ratio of the height to the base is 4 over 6, so the slope of the line is 2 thirds. To show that the slope of this is the same between any two points on the line, look at the second triangle. Now here, the height is 2 and the base is 3. So the slope again is still 2 over 3. Now no matter what right triangle you draw on the line, the ratio between the sides will always be 2 to 3, giving you 2 thirds for a slope. See over here, we've added a new triangle with a height of 6 and a base of 9, and that will again reduce to 2 thirds. So all right triangles drawn so that their longest side, the hypotenuse, rests on the line are therefore similar triangles. And because they're similar triangles, they have the same proportions. Now we're going to use this knowledge to answer this next question. Now in this problem, they want you to solve for x using this figure below. The triangles below both have their longest sides resting on the same line. Since both triangles hypotenuses are on the same line, they are right triangles and they must be similar triangles with the same ratio of sides. Now the ratio of the height to base of the first triangle is given. It's 3 to 4. Now the ratio of the height to base of the second triangle, however, has variables in it. So here it's x minus 2 to x. But since these triangles are similar, the ratios must also be equal. So we can set up that relationship right here. 3 fourths equal x minus 2 over x. To solve for x, we should just cross multiply. and We get 3x equals 4 times the quantity of x minus 2. Distribute the 4, and we get 3x equals 4x minus 8. And then we can isolate the variable by subtracting 4x on both sides. We get negative x equals negative 8 which is x equals 8. Then we're going to take 8 and just plug it back into the variables that we have for this second triangle's height and base. And so the base is 8, and the height is 8 minus 2, which is 6. So we could see that the height to base ratio is 6 to 8, and this would simplify to 3 to 4. Now remember that this ratio of height to base equals rise to run, which is basically the slope. So a possible formula for this line that these triangles rest on is any line with the slope of 3 fourths. So for example, the function y equals 3 fourths x plus any number here can be a plausible equation for this line. Great job, and I'll see you next time.